Meanwhile, scores of arrests today, 114 of them to be precise, as climate change protesters take one of the world's most crucial issues to the streets of New York. They're pushing to more aggressively eliminate use of fossil fuel. Not coincidentally, they're also arriving in New York this week, the UN General Assembly. I want to see supporter Tom Negevin, live in lower Manhattan where protesters clashed with New York police this afternoon. Tom? Brent, you are, Bill. 114 arrests, most being charged with civil disobedience, processed and released, and promising more activism during the General Assembly this week. Loud, angry, and defiant. Hundreds of activists from all over the country marching on the city's financial district, daring police to make arrests, which they do, passing out the flexi cuffs and moving in. This is our last resort. We're bringing the crisis to their doorstep, and this is what it looks like. They're talking about the climate crisis and what protesters say is Wall Street's irresponsible support of the fossil fuel industry. This is nonviolent civil disobedience um, in order to, to make changes to, you know, and send a big message to the powerful people. The back door of the Federal Reserve blocked by demonstrators squaring off with police. Nobody's getting in until the Fed regulates Wall Street and makes their portfolios comply with not expanding oil, gas, and coal, because it's killing us. Minutes after we speak to Elise, she too is cuffed and taken away. This is the New York City Police Department. It's been going on for a week now. Save! Save! On Wednesday, protesters targeted the Midtown headquarters of BlackRock for its investments in the energy sector. The next day, Citigroup in Tribeca. Each time, entrances were blocked, employees briefly kept from work, and each time, there were arrests. All of it time to coincide with the UN General Assembly, Climate Week, as dignitaries from around the globe converge on New York. We'll be blocking doors, blocking streets, blocking whatever we can to send a message to the financial institutions and to Joe Biden uh, that we have to get off of fossil fuels. Hundreds of people taking to the streets here this afternoon, and it's just the second day of Climate Week. More to come, another rally tomorrow, and the U.N. Secretary General hosts his own Climate Action Summit Wednesday.